Hello, my name is Jessie, and I am an educator at Bywater Solutions, and today I am going to show you a little tour of Folio. The library is open. The Folio platform works through a series of apps that you can set up to use within your Folio system. You'll notice across the top we have a menu that will give you a quick shortcut to jump into one of those apps. So if you're ready to look up a student or a faculty member, you can click on users and begin that process of searching or filtering for a particular patron group. You can begin the check-in process or the checkout process uh, by easily clicking on one of those apps. You can either scan in the student's card or patron lookup and that will easily take you in. There's a request app that will allow you to perform any type of hold or page or recall on an item that a user has checked out. The inventory app or your catalog will allow you to search through folio instances, which would be very similar to your bibliographic record. Your holdings, which will identify the location and any type of serial or journal information, and then finally your item, finding information about barcodes or missing items or items that are available or ready for pickup, you'll be able to go through and easily search for those items. Your eHoldings app will allow you to identify different e or electronic holdings that you have from different providers, through different packages, or search by different titles. Your apps drop-down will show you any other apps that you have connected in your Folio platform. So things to set up your course reserves, importing or exporting data, looking at e-usage, setting up budgets and funds, your acquisitions process, which ties in your orders app, receiving app, finance, invoice, agreements, and then of course organizations to keep track of all of those vendors. You also have your settings. This is where you're going to configure your system. So things like your calendar, setting up your circulation rules, um, setting up information about e-holdings and your budgets and any behind the scenes information for harvesting data that's coming from, let's say, your discovery platform. Finally, over here on the right hand side, you're going to see things about how you're logged in, easily allowing you to switch service points. So let's say you have a circulation desk on your first floor, but maybe you also have circulation available at a reference desk um, on the second floor or in another building. This allows you to switch service points to easily accommodate whichever type of transaction you're performing for your students or users. Finally, you're able to log out directly from the system and that will take you back to your login screen where you can begin that process one more time of logging in with your username and password. For those of you who have institutions with single sign-on, you can also integrate that within the Folio platform. 